Hey Stampers! Welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm so excited to show you how to ink your stamps in different ways. And I'm going to use a photopolymer stamp called the Thank You Stamp. And it's photopolymer as you can see through it, so it's perfect to show you how to ink your stamp in different ways. So first I'm going to start with a solid color. And when I stamp a big stamp like this, I like to bring my pad to the stamp. So I'm using Azure Afternoon Stampin' Up pad, and I just pat it down so I can see where the ink is and is not. So I'm going to start this. I always use the darker first on this. So I'm going to, it's a big block, so I'm going to stamp it first. And then, after you press it down really well, I'm going to lift it up and then move it to the side and down a little bit. And you can see right on there that you're getting like a shadow of that stamp. It takes a minute and that's the stamped off image. So it's very light and it's probably going to be hard to see on the camera. But it's there. It looks like there's a shadow of the blue. Now I'm going to do the two colors of inking your stamp. You always want to start with your lightest color first. So I'm using Lemon Lolly, and it's a light yellow color. And I'm going to start this. This is going to be my shadow. So I'm going to move it over and down to the right more. Okay, there's the yellow. Now I'm going to clean this because you're going to use the dark Azure Afternoon on top of it. So this is the darker one. Normally I start with the lighter one first, but because of this is the lighter color, I want to use the lighter first. Then when I come up with this, I can look and see where the light is and the dark is. So I want to move it as a shadow. So you just kind of look and eyeball it. The Lemon Lolly and this Azure Afternoon are such a pretty color combination. Isn't that beautiful? Let me show you a couple samples done with two colors. Okay, this one I did, and you could see how I put it together with the cardstock. And here's another col color combination too. Now let's go on to inking a different way with your stamp and getting a pattern to it. So you want to make sure that you clean your stamp really good because we're going to go to a different color combination. And I'm going to use the Pretty in Pink first because that will give me a base for my thank you and to put the pattern on it. I want to make sure that it's inked up really well. And I'm just going to go right in the center of this cardstock. And because it's a big stamp, you want to press all around the spots. Okay, so there's the Pretty in Pink. You want to wipe that off and clean because we're going to use two other cool colors, Boho Blue and Highland Heather. This sketch plaid stamp is a single stamp and I want to get some pattern to this thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stamp it and kind of look where I'm at on the actual stamp. Now I went ahead and stamped that and I'm going to go ahead and go right over the Pretty in Pink and then put this pattern on it the boho blue. Now it's not going to look really good just yet because we have to add the second part of the pattern. Okay, now we're going to use the Highland Heather and then it, we're going to move the stamp just a little bit so we can get the other part of the pattern on the stamp. I love these cleaning pads because you just wet them up and they clean your stamp so nicely. Okay, let's ink it up with the Highland Heather, the whole stamp. So we went right here before. Now I'm going to move this just a bit. I'm going to move it over and up to make sure that I get a pattern in a different spot because that's going to create that cross hatching on your stamp. So let me look here. Line it up. It does take a minute to do but it's worth it in the end once you get it just right on there. Now we're going to have a pattern that has two colors in the background a third color. Isn't that cool? It gives that pattern of the cross hatching with your stamp. Let me show you the actual card I came up with. And look how cool that looks with the pattern on the stamp. And nobody knows, how, how did you get that? Well, it's just stamping on top of each other and that's how you get that pattern. Now remember, you have to use a photopolymer if you're going to line up different things so you can see where it's at. 
Okay, the next one I'm going to do is another different way to ink your stamp. And this is with your daubers. And I'm going to use a three color combination. And I'm going to start with the lemon lolly first. Okay, so I'm taking my stamp here, laying it so it's, I can see where I'm doing it. I'm going to start and I'll daub it off here to make sure I have enough ink on there. And I'm going to start with the bottom of this. And just go with the lemon lolly on the bottom of each one of these letters so I can get just a little bit because this is going to be a three like ombre look to your inking of your stamp. Kind of go over it a couple times, make sure you have enough on there. Okay, now I'm going to start with the next one, which is Daffodil Delight, which is a little bit deeper in color. And you want to kind of do it right next to what you've been working on and make sure you've got that all inked up in the center of the letter. Okay, and then from there, we're going to go to the Crushed Curry, which is the darker one. And this just gives you a really nice, subtle way of getting the ombre look. So do on those and now come up to the top here and do the top of all the smaller case letters. And on the ones that go higher, I'm just going to make sure that they have theirs done. Okay, now I like to huff on my stamps to kind of re-wet it so when I stamp it, it's wet. <sighs> so I'm going to lay that down and press it so you can see how the three different colors blend into each other. Isn't that cool? You've got your lighter here, the Lemon Lolly, and then you've got the next one, which is the Daffodil Delight, and then you have your Crushed Curry right here. So that gives you the ombre look of darker to lighter. Another way you can ink up your stamp is using Versamark and then go ahead and embossing it. I stamped it on the foil paper, which it gives that dimension look of embossing right on top. Let me show you those cards again so you can see the different ways to ink your stamps. They're super simple. We've had these around for a long time, these techniques. It's always nice to know different ways to ink your stamp. If you want to see more of our videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. We come out with weekly videos. If you like any of these products, click the links below, and then we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.